Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about skills needed to be a great agent. Our goal is to bring you profit, education, and a simpler life. We'll be focusing primarily on increasing your skills, organizing the best sales tools for you, and offering new strategies to increase your business. To start off, the best advice we can give any business owner is if you focus on the needs of your clients better than your competition does, you will win. That is how the most successful realtors run their operations. That is how you create a serious referral-based business. The skills needed to be a successful realtor is imperative. For the same as many entrepreneurs, let's start by asking, are you in the right business? And you must be honest with yourself. You must be aggressive and be able to influence others to succeed in this business or you're gonna fail. You must also find your own element, which must be your passion and the right field of study for you. It needs to be the right occupation or activity that matches your inner strengths and capabilities which you may or may not even have. Try to make it all feel simple. Understand what level you're working at. Have clarity on who you are. Don't be afraid of the competition. You must be full-time, work from a plan, and show integrity. Enjoy the fact that you help people buy and sell homes. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, it's simple. Your clients will know it and you're going to fail. Move to the next level only when you're ready, meaning when you're comfortable, okay? Make sure you have a corporation mindset. You need to think like an entrepreneur. You need to act like a corporation. Have a serious commitment with a budget of time and money. Once you get going, you should think about opening an actual corporation to save lots of money on taxes, okay? Get into understanding market value. The funnel theory is you need 25 leads a month to close at least two deals, which leads to the question, where are the leads coming from? You need to know your marketing paths to get clients from each type. Also know that each marketing path or target has a different need and should be handled in their own ways. You must be a marketing and lead generation expert. You should have a contact management system in place that will help keep you organized. You must have great general sales skills and know how to sell people and get people to use you for business. You need to embrace the internet technology. Following up on your leads aggressively will enhance your business tenfold. It's crucial that you handle them perfectly or they will float away to someone that will. So be that person, guys. Impute your image of authority. Get your image in shape. Understand the idea of not going backwards by not getting yourself set up like a professional. You have to do the basics first, then go to a big image. Clients go with people that have a good image and that are more approachable. Know what clients want and have solutions ready. People will definitely validate you through the internet. Enhance and monitor your online presentation, your website, all of your social media, online reviews, etc. Make sure it's all dialed in, okay? If you don't cover your basics, then you're gonna show that you're unsuccessful at what you do. You need to have a competitive edge compared to others. Be ready with a series of tools designed to make the buying or selling experience better for your customers and show them you have all the answers, okay? Have a professional follow-up system in place. Your competition can be beat. If you have everything in place, you're gonna win. If you are full-time, organized, and ethical, you're gonna win. The message here is 90% of the competition is not. So it's up to you to take it from them. Be prepared. Work from a specific business plan. Maintain a budget and track your income using a profit and loss statement. Develop a team as soon as possible or you're gonna get bogged down in the details and you need to be taking care of more important things to maintain success. Keep a simple overhead view of your plan for daily inspiration. Know your lead sources and maintain a high capture rate plan. Get your daily priorities done in sequence. Work from a daily and weekly checklist. Don't forget to make great calls, okay? Because great calls will create and develop long-term relationships that will boost uh, the referral business in your entire book of business. I'm gonna give you some huge tips to follow here. You gotta be a giver. Again, guys, 
Focus on client needs better than the competition. Your true worth is determined by how much you give in value than what you take in payment. Your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. And guys, people notice and pay attention to these things. You need to make sure you manage your sources and leads. Use a CRM system with project management capabilities or something of that nature. Contacts need to be categorized by group. Sources also need to be categorized by relationship status. All your leads must be tracked. Run a good referral-based business. That's how you're gonna be successful. You should always be looking for ways to be adding potential referral sources. You need to make people know you, like you, and trust you. Put a mailing list together for this. It will help your book of referrals. This is very personable and clients will appreciate that you are constantly staying in touch with them, okay? Be a networking expert. Create power partners and push each other to go to the next level. Attend events and possibly get a partner to go with you. Get involved in the community. Make people know who you are. You need to create a presence. Be a buyer's agent expert. Listen to their dream scenario. Be able to create trust and loyalty from your client just by how you handle the buying sequence. This will capture your client. Be great at researching and visiting potential homes. Know the areas you're working in, okay? You should be making smart offers and you need to control the listing agents by smart negotiations. Be great at managing the transaction all the way to closing. Make sure you stand by your client from beginning to the end. They will appreciate that and notice it. You should have basic understanding of mortgage financing knowledge. Know the basics, like how much down payment is needed and all the fees associated. The clients want to know these types of things when they're searching for a home, okay? Uh, no other options to buy homes, such as alternative financing programs that may fit into your client's needs. Be a listing expert agent, okay? Know how to beat the competition during a listing appointment. It is very important to know the correct listing price or you're sunk. So again, know the area you're working in so you can be confident about the list price. Know the values and be aware of everything on the market near you. Go into every listing that is a close comp and know why you are justifying the list price at your appointment. Have the knowledge to back it up. This will impress your client at, during the listing appointment. Know how to stage and then market a home for sale. Do professional photography and flyers. Don't take a picture from your cell phone. This will show a low level of professionalism or effort you gave to your client. You need to have great customer service with the client. Customer service really has three basic elements, speed, quality, and updates. Work using defined milestones and decide what day they should be done. Each milestone should have quality controls that you do every time. Update your clients twice a week or more. Three keys to customer service again are speed, which means to finish on time by inspecting the deadlines you set. Quality, which means audits and controls for deals and leads built into your daily life. And updates, which means updates must be done two times a week or more, and you need to confirm the client's perception of your service, which means not what you think happened, but what they think happened. Be an inspector, not a home inspector, a quality control inspector. People do what you inspect, not what you expect. You need to monitor your files daily and check progress with everyone. You want people to know you will check up. They need to know that you are handling things and standing behind their needs. You should have basic knowledge of legal issues. We're not attorneys and can't give legal advice. However, you need to know the most common lawsuit situations and be informative to your clients. They will appreciate this. You need to know how to prevent them before they begin 
This will definitely show you are the right person to protect and represent them. You should check your personal results every week. Use a simple weekly chart to track your promises. Continue your education and work with a coach if necessary. Our program is based on a success sequence. You need to finish all modules to graduate. Thanks for tuning in with Grand Avenue University and be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks guys, see you soon.